Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be working on my third video in my new updated travel tips and tricks uh, series. And in today's video, I'm going to be concentrating on my packing tips and tricks. Oh my goodness. After this video, I may well move into an Alaska wardrobe video that I'm, you know, I, I, but I need to work, do a little bit of work in my closet before I get to that. So that won't be till next week. This will probably be my last video in my travel series for this week, you guys. Uh, I may come back next week with uh, a couple of things that are going on with our pool and some other information. So be sure to come back for that if you're subscribed to my Arlen's Country Craft Corner channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to that channel because I'm going to be, uh, we're getting a pool put in. We're getting an in-ground pool put in this summer. And I've got some updated information about that that I will bring to you next week. But anyway, regardless of all that, let's get talking about some packing tips and tricks. Uh, now y'all know I have been packing for cruises and for vacations for our whole married life. Chris and I have been married 40 years and before I found packing cubes, my daughter, Kristen, our daughter, Kristen, our oldest daughter, one year for Christmas, we were fixing to go to Hawaii on a cruise and our Christmas presents that year were packing cubes and a garment folder and uh, other little things to go along with our Hawaii cruise coming up. And I opened up the packing cubes and I'm like, what are these? She said, they're packing cubes, mom. She's a big YouTube fan, you know? She said, they're packing cubes, mom. And I'm like, what in the world am I gonna do with packing cubes? I'm a good packer, you know, I'm organized. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, the best packer there is. <laughs> she said, mom, just try it, just try it. She said, you know, expand your walls a little bit. I am so, you know, set in my ways, you guys. I really am. I'll be the first to admit that. So I said, all right, all right, all right. So when I went to pack for that Hawaii cruise, I was amazed. I really was amazed at how much I could take. Uh, the only thing I'm going to, the only thing that I'm going to caution you about when using packing cubes and a garment folder, like I'm fixing to show you here, is you really have to watch the weight of your suitcase. I never want to take my suitcase over 50 pounds. For one thing, you shouldn't take them over 50 pounds or you're going to have to pay an overweight fee. The only time I my luggage was overweight was the time it got lost. I'm telling you. I don't know. That was just a coincidence, I'm sure. But, you know, I really try anyway for the porter's backs more than anything to keep the luggage weight of each bag under 50 pounds. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the luggage scale. I measure the the weight of all of my suitcases. Here are my suitcases over here. You can see I'm going to talk. So I wanted to have you guys take a peek at this luggage scale. This is my luggage scale. I have this linked in my Gadgets and Gizmos, Travel Gadget, Gadget and Gizmos box in my Amazon storefront. And uh, this has a strap and you just wrap it around the handle of the suitcase and click it onto itself. And then you use this and you just lift it and it'll give you the weight of whatever the suitcase is. I weigh all of the suitcases, I weigh all of my cubes and I weigh my garment folder too. And any cosmetic bag as well. You know, I showed you all of my cosmetic bags the other day. I weigh each one of those as well. So I know exactly, at least according to this scale, what my suitcase is going to weigh when I put it on that scale at the airport at check-in, you know? I want to have a good idea that I'm underweight. I don't want to be surprised at the airport and have to open up bags and switch switch one cube to another bag and then blah, 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 blah. No, I don't want to have to go through all that. I saw this poor woman who must have been flying um, back home somewhere. She had boxes and suitcases and all kinds of stuff this last time when I went and she she was sitting on the floor and she was organizing all of her bags and having to reconfigure everything. Well, I don't want that to ever be me at the airport. So I make sure I'm well under 50. I usually, I really don't like it any more than 48 pounds, 47 and a half pounds, honestly, because you know, there's always some, 
you know, give or take in the scales. Although I will say it's it's usually pretty spot on with, you know, being the same thing as what this way. But you never know, you get a different scale every time. So I always try to keep it, you know, well under two or three pounds under 50 pounds. So that's the first thing. And, the, and one of the most important tools that I use when it comes to my packing tips and tricks is the luggage scale. They're not expensive, but they will save you money in the end, possibly, you know? So there's that. Now, uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you about before we get started into the specific bags are uh, luggage tags. Now, all of my suitcases have a, you know, a luggage tag on them. As you can see here, this has my name, my address, my telephone number, my email address, uh, all my pertinent information on there. So just in case this bag gets lost, you know, this luggage tag is going to be on there and people are going to be able to find it. That is a Vera Bradley old, very old luggage tag. Uh, I don't know that I have luggage tags. I'll see if I can get some linked in my gadgets and gizmos box. Uh, so before we move further on further, while we're talking luggage tags, I wanted to show you, these are your princess luggage tags. These are what they look like. They, you can print them out yourself. Of course, I have my last name redacted and, you know, the exact date we're going and stuff redacted here. Uh, but it just comes on a, you know, an eight, you print it out in an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and it tells you how to fold it. And then I have these luggage tag covers linked in my Amazon uh, gad Gadgets and Gizmos gift idea box. I highly encourage you to use these luggage tag covers. It keeps your luggage tags from getting wet and it holds them better on your suitcase than they say to wrap the paper around your, you know, around your handle and staple it. I've just found these to be more secure. I'm more comfortable with using a luggage tag. So I don't put my luggage tag on until I get to the morning of embarkation though, you guys. Sometimes you'll say, the people will say, well, I put them on before I leave home. We used to, we did that like once and then have never done it again. There's no need to do that really. So, uh, I do put one in the top pocket just in case my suitcase gets lost and they go searching for where, who it belongs to. They'll find that, oh, she's on a cruise at, you know, September, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it must go to the Grand Princess, you know. Maybe they might find us, I hope, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to mention these luggage tag covers to you. They are lovely. I like the ones with the metal uh, hangers on them, although they do sell them too. And I don't know whether I have both lists. This plastic uh, handle on them too. And you just, you know, tie it like a slip knot on there. And it holds it, these hold it fine, really and truly. I've never had one break on me at all, ever. So, but I do tend to go for the one with the metal ring on it nowadays. Okay, next, I so. want to talk about uh, something else that we just started doing to our suitcases. I'm sure a lot of you already do this or do something like this. As you can see, I do have colorful luggage. I do have a purple a purple bag, and then this bag is easily found, you know, is easily seen when it's when it comes, when you go to pick up your luggage, how many pieces of black luggage are there? How many pieces of burgundy luggage are there? How many, even purple, how many, even purple, how many pieces of purple luggage are there? So what I, I bought the last time for our Hawaii trip is I bought myself some straps. And all you do is just wrap this around the center of the suitcase, click it. For one thing, if your zipper happens to fail, you know, you can, it'll stay shut uh, with the strap. And another thing, there's not going to be many people, unless a bunch of you guys are on the plane with me, are going to have the same strap. <laughs> so I bought this for my purple bag, and I got this color for Chris's black bag. So, and I don't tie anything around this bag because obviously I don't need to because it it's, looks, you know, we can sure find that on the way out of the rounder there. But I just wanted to mention these. I do have these linked to in my luggage, I believe, uh, with packing cubes and so on. I do have these, these linked in my Amazon shop. So I did want to mention those and that really did make it easier to find our bags. It really did. Oh, there they are. Okay, good. Whoo. You know, instead of going, okay, does that look like mine? Is that mine? Oh, let me grab the tag and, you know, saves time. Okay, now I'm going to start talking about packing cubes and, and garment folders. 
Now I will, I am going to give you some examples of me literally packing with these, with the compression bags, probably not with the first bag I'm going to show you, but with the compression bags I'm going to show you and with the garment folder, I'm going to morph into some footage of me packing up for a, a past cruise so that you can really see how it works and so that you can really see for me anyway, the, the packing cubes are just lovely. I am a very organized person, as you guys have probably been able to figure that out. And I really like everything in its place and a place for everything. I, I also don't unpack them all the way when, once I get to the ship. I will put them in the drawer, open them up, and just grab from the cube. Uh, I, there's always a closet closet shelving, and I so I put some, my pants out and just open the open the top of it and tuck it back, tuck the top of it back behind it. And anyway, so the first uh, bags I wanna talk about, and these are the ones that Chris still uses. He doesn't care for the compression cubes. He likes these cubes. I don't know that I have his here. I don't think I do. I think his are, no, I don't. I have my pink ones here. His are blue and they are in his suitcase because that's where he keeps them. So I keep them in a little bin up in my closet. So, but I wanted to show you, these were my very first packing cubes and these are what Kristen got me for Christmas. And these are called Shack Pack Packing Cubes. They come a package of one, two, three, four of them come in this bag. This they call a laundry bag, which you certainly could use as a laundry bag. I tend to put a pair of shoes in here, just in case I'm gonna need a bag that has, if you know, let's say I did an AT, ATV excursion in Alaska or something, and I wasn't gonna have a chance to wash my clothes, they could go in here, you know? Uh, that's another thing, I always say, throw a couple of garbage bags in, your, like the white, you know, tall kitchen bags in your luggage too. That way, if you have a, a, an excursion, especially in Alaska where you get dirty, I know in the Caribbean, they have some of those ATV mud, you know, mud fests, <laughs> you know, uh, and, you, and let's say you don't have the opportunity to wash those clothes before you have to go to your next destination. You know, take something that, you know, will save your other clothes from being right next to them. But anyway, that's what I would use that for. Uh, but these, again, are not compression cubes. Compression cubes are going to have a second a uh, zipper on them that will compress them down even further than these. These, I always use this size for my unmentionables. All my panties, all my bras, all my knee-high, you know, on on cold, uh, cold excursions or, cold, you know, I always take a couple of pairs of knee-highs with me and they, all of that can fit in this little bag. I'm not even kidding you, you guys. So this pack of four, could easily, and the garment bag, could easily take care of everything that I would need on a cruise. One bag would be used for my slacks. One bag would be used for, especially for Alaska, for say a sweatshirt and my night clothes and a couple of turtlenecks because it gets really cold for me in Glacier Bay and I like our turtleneck underneath my sweatshirts. Uh, another one could be used for uh, capes. I like my kimonos. So this could be used instead of trying to muscle a kimono into the garment bag, which I'll show you in a minute. I would put them in a cube and do put them in cubes. Extra sweater. Uh, you know, anything, any overflow would go in the other one. And then all my unmentionables. And that covers everything I need for an Alaska anyway cruise. And I would need less for say a Caribbean cruise or the Panama Canal cruise. I just don't take as heavy as heavy of clothing and as many things. I do take fingerless gloves. You know, they could go in the overflow bag. It's just, again, I'm very organized. I like everything to have its place and to be in its place. And uh, packing cubes do it for me, you guys. Now, I will give you a hint, especially the way the airlines are... <laughs> right now. I mean, they are just crazy. Flights are getting canceled. Flights are getting, you know, uh, moved around. Luggage is being lost. All this stuff is going on. You got to really be careful and 
with your packing, think about this before you pack. What I plan on doing when I'm packing for our September cruise is having Chris pack two outfits in, say, the overflow cube or something like that. Pack two outfits, including pants, shirt, underwear, socks, whatever he needs, two outfits in a cube. And I'll, I'll show you these cubes up closer. And then I'm, and then I will pack his cube in my suitcase. And I'm going to do the same and pack two outfits and put them in his suitcase. So that way, if one of our suitcases gets lost, the other one will at least have a couple of changes of clothes while our luggage is being located, hopefully. So, you know, think about things like that, especially in this day and age when things are just ramping up again and everybody's trying so hard and working so hard to get, you know, everything uh, back to the way it was, but it's taking a long time, you guys, and we need to sh put our patients hats on and try to work with the airlines and work with the cruise lines and work with the hotels and try our best to be gracious about things. You know, it's, it's not easy. But anyway, that's what I plan on doing uh, when, when I pack. Uh, to show you a little closer to these bags, these bags all have a handle on them. Where's the handle? I know they do. Yes. I'll have a handle. These have mesh, which helps the clothes breathe, which is nice. They are very well made. Uh, the zippers are very well made. I have never had one. I've had these since 2016. You can wash these in the washing machine and put them in the dryer. Uh, they are lovely. 2016, and I've used these over and over and over again, you guys. So these, again, are your shack pack packing cubes, and they're lovely. I love them. Let me hold these up now and show you my favorite packing cubes now, though. Just a little hint, too. You can tell which color packing cube is in this bag by looking at the little pack is pink and that's the color of the bag. Now my favorite packing cube nowadays and has been for the last several years are these compression cubes and these particular ones are from Bagail, B-A-G-A-I-L. Again I have these linked. I tried to link these specific ones. I believe there's four cubes. I'm going to open them up and show you in here and uh, but they do have different configurations. They have different shapes. They have different sizes. They have different number of cubes in sets. So, you know, you'll just need to kind of go and look on Amazon and see what you see and what might meet your fancy and meet your needs, you know? So let me show you what is in this pack though. Again, I've used these over and over and over and over and over again. Got, again, I've got four cubes in this, in this set, one this size, one this size, one this size, and then again, my unmentionables would go in here, this size. And let me pick one of these and show you what I mean by them being compression cubes. Okay, they have two different colors of zippers on them. Can you see that? We have a gray zipper and we have a black zipper that starts on this side. I don't ever remember this, but this is a little hint if, you can, if you're good at remembering things like this. The gray zipper is what will open the bag up. See that? The black zipper is what will open the compression portion up. See how it can compress down? You've seen suitcases that can open up and give more, give more room. It's the same concept with these compression bags. I will probably, I don't know that I have footage for the shack pack cubes. I know I've got footage of myself doing the Bagel cubes. So I will morph to that probably right now and give you a little look and see how I packed up these Bagale packing cubes for, I don't know what, maybe an Alaska cruise? I'm not sure which footage I'll pull. 
I'll be right back in just a second. The first uh, cruise I'm gonna be packing up for is gonna be my California Coastal. So for the California Coastal cruise, I'm gonna use pink cubes. And then for the Alaska cruise, I'm gonna be using a set of purple cubes. Each set has, I think the purple actually might have more, but this set came with four cubes. You can see one over there. That's gonna be for my unmentionables, which I haven't packed up yet. But then I have three other cubes here that I can utilize if necessary. I don't think I'm gonna need all three, but we'll see. You can see here I have some slacks already folded up. And this is, these are capris. I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of capris, and I have two pairs of slacks. Well, I have one knock-around pair of capris. These are, these are knock-around pair of capris that I can throw on in the evening, or I can throw on just to walk around the deck if I want to and, and do a little exercise. Like, I'll do that, but I may, you never know. I just wanted a knock-around pair. And then two pairs of slacks, because part of that cruise is gonna be warm, and then the last part could be cooler. So I wanted to pack a couple of pair of my black slacks, which I can't. Uh, and then I also have one little gaucho that I ordered, and this is like a jumpsuit. So, and I'll put a picture here if I was able to wear it. So, anyway, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and probably pack these just this way in this cube. And let's see how I do here. I did not measure these when I folded them. Just kind of folded them up thinking, oh, I can maybe get them in there like that. <laughs> we'll see. You can see my ironing board over there. I did do a little ironing to a couple of the pairs. I usually don't take anything that wrinkles, but this time I am because I'm a little smaller and was able to fit into more. And here we go. I don't like these as well because you can't open up the zipper all the way. Kind of got to be sliding them in like that. I don't care for that so much if I'm honest. Let's put this right on top. This is the only cube that I may unpack and just put right under what I put in it. All right, let's zip this up and let's see how we do here. And if I'm gonna be able to compress it down even further. Let's see. All right, I already had it compressed down. <laughs> okay, I could open it up if I wanted to. So that's compressed down, see that? So that's compressed down. All right, well that'll work. That's pretty good. Let's see how much it weighs. Eight point four six pounds. So. I may add like a set of PJs in here, that kind of thing. Okay, four sweaters. There we go. Let's compress it down further. It's going to easily compress with just four sweaters. Is that neat? Isn't that neat how it just, I, I just love these bags. I cannot tell you, you guys, how much these make me happy and how much they satisfy my, my anal retentiveness <laughs> and make me feel better when I go to pack. And I don't, you know, I don't open my suitcase and have stuff flued all over the place. You know, they're, everything is in its place and I know right where to find everything. So these did not come with an outer bag like the shack pack bags did, but I always pack them inside one another and put them in a, in a little bin like this. I have a set of pink and I have a set of purple with my bagel. This one, this set actually, that set does not have mesh. This set does. Again, like I say, do check your uh, Amazon and see you might want to click around and see if there's something, if I don't have something linked that you think might, you know, um, meet your needs, 
certainly click around, search for Begale. There are also bags that are different names too. I just love the Begale. But this one came with uh, two bags this size, one this size, one this size, and then a larger size. So uh, between these two sets of cubes, you guys, oh my goodness, I've got more than enough space for all of my clothes and whatever else, you guys. I'm telling you, these are a magic weapon. Okay, uh, now let me talk to you about a garment folder. This is another thing that Kristen got me way back in 2016. This is not the one that she got me. I have it still, and it still does work, although it's pretty decrepit. <laughs> This is called a medium garment folder from Eagle Creek. Eagle Creek is a great name when it comes to packing cubes and things like that. And But this is the only thing I've gotten from Eagle Creek, and I love it. I love it. I'm sure their packing cubes are wonderful, too. I've just never tried them. But this is, as you are going to see, literally like a folder. It unfolds. It has four four flaps, and it's got a cheat card. And, and it shows you how to fold pants and shirts and dressier shirts. And what you do is you fold your your garment around this, this card. You lay your card in, you lay your garment in and pull the card out, which leaves your garment in there. And then when you're all done, put the card on top because you want to take it with you. Because when you pack to come home, you got to pack again. And you close this up, all the all four flaps up, and they Velcro close. They also have a little bit of wiggle room with them. Let me show you. Hang on. Because they are actually mesh on the side, and this is stretchy. So it will stretch to be pretty thick. I had 20, 20 tops in this going to Hawaii that first year. 20 tops. I didn't need that many, you guys. But of course, I took that many because I thought I needed them. I would never do that now. I never packed that heavy anymore. I really packed heavy that year. Hence why Kristen got me the garment folder and the packing cubes. <laughs> I don't pack that heavy anymore. But anyway, a garment folder. Now, let me morph to some footage where I show you how I do the, part, the, the packing folder too. And then I think I show you in that video too about how it all looks in my suitcase when I'm all finished and how it's like putting together a puzzle, you know, moving your, your cubes one way or the other, fitting it all in. I put my shoes, I tuck my shoes around the edges in the front pocket. I love it, you guys. I just love packing with these packing aids. I absolutely do. Be right back in just a second. You lay your top right flat down. This poor thing is decrepit. Right side down. Put your cheat sheet in. Fold your garment around the cheat sheet. Fold it up. And then lay it in just like that and pull the cheat sheet card out. I need to find a better way to do this. Hang on. Another one for you. And then I'll probably go into fast motion a little bit. You guys have seen most of what I'm going to be taking with me. I don't know how a pin mark got onto that, but I'm going to be wearing a sweater over it. But back on it. And up and then the next time I add a garment I turn the collar the opposite direction like that pull the cheat sheet out fix it if you need to the next one This time it goes this way and pull that out. All right, 
So I'm going to speed through the rest and I'll come back when I'm ready to fold it all up. Okie dokie, you guys. So that's all my tops. Those three are sweaters over there, and I'm going to put them in that other cube, one of those other cubes. I decided I'm going to try to muscle the sweaters into here. Yeah. Those are just open. All right. So the way we close this up is we put the cheat sheet card in. We don't want to forget it because we do need to come home, and I use it to fold everything, you know, to come home. You know, we don't like to think about that when we're going. I pull the bottom up, and you can see there's Velcro on it. And pull it tight and pull the side up and there we go and just adjust a little bit that's it y'all my packet garment folder isn't that nice? I'll tell you, it keeps everything so nice and not wrinkled. It's awesome. Unless I put them in there and wrinkled. <laughs> All right, let's weigh this and see how much this is now. 6.18. 6.18 pounds. of them and make it like a puzzle you know you can do it that way so you can see I'm gonna have another uh, another folder probably another cube like this probably another folder another cube this size for my Alaska wardrobe and that'll be about it you guys I'm gonna lay jackets on the top I have a, a vest and a, actually I'm gonna put the vest in here uh, and I have a Columbia red jacket, and I have a Sot Skinger Cruises sweatshirt. And I have a sweatshirt that I bought that was too small that I'm gonna to give to my friend, so I'm taking that too. So those will probably lay on top, or I'll put, I'll put right with the jacket in the front pocket. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where things end up. I know you get my shoes, my must-haves, the whole bit, you know? Here we go. <laughs> guys what did you think oh my goodness so efficient right I I'm telling you I just love this stuff I absolutely love it I cannot speak highly enough uh, for Shack Pack or Begale or Eagle Creek all great names great products I would not steer you wrong you guys I use these products all the time for every vacation not just cruises but for every vacation last year with you know with COVID we ended up taking a to three actually beach vacations last year or two with my family and one with our dear friends Barb and Dawn and I used packing cubes in the garment folder for every single vacation that we went on.
So I think that's all I'm going to talk to you all about in this one. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them for me in the comments. If you have an idea uh, for a video that you'd like me to talk about or to try to make up for you, if you have questions about certain, you know, with cruising, it would be through Princess, uh, especially with Alaska cruises. You know, I'd be glad to talk you through an Alaska cruise itinerary kind of thing. You know, let me know what you'd like to know about, and I'd be glad to, you know, create a video for you guys. I'm really good at sitting and just chatting. I'm also very, I will say I'm very experienced at Alaska cruising, especially. So I would love to talk to you about that. I can talk a blue streak, that's for sure. We all know that, so... But anyway, that's it for this one. And again, if you have any questions or if, if anything I've said in this have brought up some questions, feel free to ask me and I will answer them in another video or I will answer you in person right there underneath your comment. So, all right. So let me first take a moment to ask you to subscribe, please. Uh, if you haven't, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe either to Arlen's Country Craft Corner. Uh, also, that is where I will be highlighting the pool construction on that channel. So feel free to, you know, subscribe there. If you're watching through Arlen's Travels, it's easily found Arlen's Country Craft Corner. I'll put a link in the description box so you can find that easily. If you haven't subscribed to my to my Arlen's Travels channel, I am going to tr be trying to do more on that channel. And uh, we do have other cruises coming up uh, and other things coming up that I will be highlighting and, and doing on my uh, travel channel too. So please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss one of my uploads. Hit the like, please. That helps all of those things help my channel. And then share with your friends and family and see if anybody else might like to join us. All right. You will never hear a bad word spoken on this channel. It's all positivity. All uh, I, I'm hoping uh, I, I will give you a place, a little safe haven to come and just enjoy talking about traveling or talking about crafts on my other channel and decorating and you know, all the stuff that we've been talking about on that channel for years and years. So anyway, all right, let me go into my final words and say thank y'all for stopping in here today. I so appreciate every single one of you. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.